Hi everyone, it's Ryan from Foxtech, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create photo folders on your iPhone. Organizing your photos can be a little tricky, but with a few easy steps, you'll have them sorted and easy to find. So let's get right into it. On an iPhone, the default way to organize photos is through albums, not folders like you might see on a computer. But don't worry, albums work just as well. You can create a new album, name it whatever you want, and add as many photos to it as you like. You can either select photos directly from your gallery and place them into an album, or you can go into the album first and add photos there. It's really flexible and helps keep your photos organized. Now, if you're looking to organize your albums even further, you can actually create folders for those albums. This is like an extra layer of organization. So instead of just having a bunch of albums, you can group them into folders, making it easier to find things, especially if you have a lot of photos. This is a great way to categorize different events, trips, or projects, and keep your albums neatly organized. But if you're looking for something closer to how folders work on a computer, you might want to use the Files app that comes with your iPhone. In the Files app, you can create real folders, just like on a desktop, and import your images there. Let's say you're browsing through your photo gallery and you decide that you want to save an image to a specific folder. All you need to do is tap the share icon on that photo, then choose Save to Files, and you can store it in any folder you've created in the Files app. And remember, you don't have to stick to just the Photos app or Files app. There are plenty of other apps you can use to store your photos in folders. Google Photos, Google Drive, Dropbox, and various other document management apps allow you to create and organize folders just like you would on a computer. So your options are pretty limitless when it comes to organizing your photos in a way that works best for you. That's it for today. I hope this helped you get your photos more organized. If it did, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you later.